Welcome to this video on productive writing habits, which is part of our series on publishing a research article. Understanding that writing is a process will help you to develop productive writing habits. A process is a series of actions towards an end, and with writing what this means is that we take what is often a very overwhelming task and we break it up into different stages. So a pre-writing stage, writing drafts and revising. And that will help the project become much more manageable. Some people feel like they need to write perfectly the first time and this is where they often get stuck. So just to repeat this, the number one stumbling block is trying to write it perfectly the first time. A better mantra to have would be to get something down and then fix it up. And this is what we do with the writing process. So we break it up into these different steps. Each step becomes much more manageable. It helps us to get something down that we can then fix up. So the pre-writing phase is really the thinking phase and we can do this through writing as well. We can write bits and pieces about conceptualization around descriptions, for example, if we're writing the methodology section of a paper. In the pre-writing phase, we might write descriptions of the research site or of the participants, and all these bits and pieces will become part of the final piece. In the drafting phase, this is where your thinking has been formed already, so what you're trying to do now is to focus on getting the story of your paper down. And the idea is to write quickly without referring to your sources and not to worry about whether you're making mistakes because this draft is really for your eyes only. It's about getting your thoughts on paper, which is one of the most difficult parts of writing. You might want to use a technique called free writing, which was developed by Peter Elber in the 1970s. And this is where you set a timer and you write without stopping. So you don't correct yourself, you don't edit. Once the, timing, the timer is over, then you can have a look at what you've written, delete what you don't want, add in things and add in sources. The final phase in the writing process is the revision phase. And this could be a series of revisions. So you could look for different things each time you revise. For example, the first time you revise, you might want to focus on the foundational building blocks of the paper. Does the problem align with the research questions and the arguments, for example? Once you've got those foundational blocks in place, then you might revise for flow, transitions, and you might edit for language. And then the final revision phase would be the proofreading for spelling and for referencing conventions. And at this point, you might want to go back to the journal specifications and make sure that you've completed all their requirements. So productive writers don't expect to write perfectly the first time they sit down to write. They write from the beginning. So even in the pre-writing phase, they are writing little bits and pieces, notes to themselves, descriptions, paragraphs, which then often get sewn together in the drafting phase to produce something more coherent. Um, productive writers do lots of preparation before they write so that they have something to say. And productive writers understand that the writing process is not linear. So this could mean doing preparation, writing a draft, and having to go back and do more preparation to fill in the gaps. So let's go over the key points that we wanted to get across in this video. Understanding that writing is a process will really help you to develop productive writing habits so that you're not trying to do everything at, at once. You're breaking it up into manageable pieces. As a mantra, you want to get something down on paper and then fix it up. And the way we break up the writing process is into a preparation phase, a drafting phase, and then a revision phase where you craft the paper.
Writing a paper for publication is a complex process, so we've provided you with a number of sources here if you want to read further. Thank you for watching this video on productive writing habits.